Welcome back to another video guys, in this one we'll be unboxing the Samsung Galaxy Active 2 and um, also seeing if it's um, worth you getting in 2021 because um, probably around August, maybe July, August time, maybe even June we should be seeing um, Active Fit 3 hopefully but um, yeah, so we'll just be seeing what this one does and um, how it holds up to the rest of the watches that I have. Like I got the Galaxy Watch Active One and the Galaxy Watch Three itself. So I've got the forty-four millimeter and Active Two. And um, the color on this one is a uh, aqua black. Um, I think it's a one point four inch display, super AMOLED. Um, let's see the battery, and this is a three hundred and forty milliamp. Um, there should be an update on this now, like there was on my um, Galaxy Watch 3 where you got the ECG and the blood pressure monitor available on it now. Obviously you got your heart rate monitor, your blood oxygen, um, you've got your different fitness programs to track, to track yourself on doing, doing different fitnesses obviously. And um, yeah, let's get to unboxing and uh, see how it compares to other watches. Alright, so you've got your usual box and stuff, user guide in here. And your quick start guide and a warranty card. Here is the watch itself. Nothing else in here. Then here you've got your charger. Magnetic charger. Just plug it in, drop on top, it should charge up. Right, let's look at a couple of sizes. This is the 44 millimeter Active 2. This here is the Active 1. I believe it's 40 millimeter. And this is the Galaxy Watch 3. This is a 45. Right, let's turn it on, see if we've got any juice. Yep. Alright, let's set it up. So let's go. Add new device. Alright, look active. Right, we're all set. All right, let's just take a look around. Get okay, dead activity. It's basically showing what you could do with it. Swiping across. Press the back key. So let's see your back key up here. You see it's a different shape and different color to the other key. That one's circle, that one's silver. And you've got your, and that's your mic. Yeah, and this here's your, let me focus, this here's your speaker. You've got your mic on this side here. And this is your home key. Down for quick panel, touch screen with palm to turn off screen. Which again, so yeah, that worked. So that's it. All 
right so from here you could change your watch faces and it'll automatically change on the watch itself you see it changed but it's still giving me instructions to go through this Still taking me through like a mini tutorial. So you can just cancel that. Yep. Okay, like I said, you could change your watch faces from the you could do it from the watch itself. Press and hold the screen. You go across and change it. Or you could do it straight from the phone itself. You just choose it. When it says customize, you can usually customize the color and um, some of the information that's on the on the screen of the watch. Like change color. Changes. It won't take effect until unless you press save, I guess. Press save, then it will change. Yep. I don't know if you can actually hear that. There's like a ticking noise on the hand. To replicate the ticking sound from like a real watch. It's pretty cool. But not when the face is up, when the screen's off. That's when it's on. When you go to the the main screen, it tells you how much battery you got left. You can change your like I, said, like I just showed you, change your watch faces. Go to your apps, customize your customize your apps. Go your widgets, advance, SOS, find my watch. So if you manage to misplace your watch, press find my watch, start. This should ring, yeah. There you go, rings. And you should be able to do it the other way around as well. If you misplace your phone, go to find my watch on the apps here. It's down here. So you can either swipe across or you've got a digital bezel. Swipe on the outside. So on the okay, so watch active, first one. It's got a digital bezel also. Obviously on your on Galaxy Watch 3, you've got your physical bezel. So you go to find my phone. You would touch that icon here or touch the middle. Start, this one should ring. All right, let's see what um, we have here. So you got a couple of apps here. Got your running, cycling, swimming. You can add more. Got some more. Let's tick that. These are different exercises, activities, more workouts. So there's a, a few of them. It's quite quite a few. Right, so we done that. Check your heart rate. Weather. That's your notifications. Widget. Like I said, we'll see if this is updated to see if it's got the ECG and the um, blood pressure monitoring. So you've got alarm, app shortcuts, calendar, contacts, music. So you play music from, from the watch because it's got the speaker and you can control it also. Reminder, Samsung Health, Samsung Health again, that's your calories, Samsung Health again, your steps, heart rate, um, 
sleep monitoring stress levels go to apps manage apps hmm I don't see it I think this is one of the things where um if you're not using the actual Samsung device you miss out on some of the features I think this is one of the features so what I'll have to do I'll get a Samsung yeah I can't find it I'll check on the Samsung phone because right now this is I'm checking on the um on this Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite right we'll set the watch I'll try and hook it up to the um I've got a uh, Galaxy A6 it's the old model of the A series we want this up to find the ECG in the blog pressure monitor so we'll get rid of this this one is a Xiaomi couldn't see the option on this so this is a thing where um, some of the features you won't be able to use if you don't have a Samsung device paired with a Samsung watch and ECG log the app and it says install so you can do it from the watch then to the phone Right, done it, installed it, but it's saying to use it, I need a um, mobile network. Obviously this phone does have a SIM in it. But now you've got the blood pressure stuff on there. Yes, yeah, so you got the blood pressure and ECG. Now on the watch. And then this be able to add it to the widgets and widget don't see it oh see we've got it there now now it's here and with the widgets if you actually see that and there uh, should be added and you could um, move it around like if you want it further down just move it around like this so you put it first you put it last you just rearrange your your widgets Right, so comparing this guys okay, so watch active two to the one. You see it's much smaller. Right, it does have a well the guys so watch active one does have a mic, but it doesn't have a speaker. So we see it just go by vibration. And um this obviously has got the mic and the speaker. So you play your music from it. Same as the Galaxy Watch 3. I mean, the main differences between the Watch 3 and the Active 2 obviously, you've got your physical bezel, or your digital bezel here. Your buttons are slightly different. Well, these ones are protruding, this one isn't. You've got your speaker on both sides here mics on the same side it looks like you've got the same amount of sensors on the back 
because obviously this is a more got a more sporty look it's got a more casual look but you can change the bands make it look more sporty if you like so if you're thinking about getting this in what now 2021 it's still it's still a good watch it does I said it does the same thing as the watch 3 but we see the watch 3 looks looks more modern compared to like the Galaxy watch itself which much, was much more chunkier but this here the Active 2 is a uh, more sporty but it does everything that your Galaxy watch 3 hair can do the Active can do so it does depend on the style that you want so if you want more sporty look go for the Active casual looking watch 3 you can get these Samsung has these on offer nearly all the time, so it's much cheaper than the Watch 3. You've got the same same apps, same blood pressure, monitor, heart rate monitor, ECG on both of them. Unlike the Active One, we don't have the you got your heart rate monitor, we don't have your um, blood oxygen, your ECG. And uh, obviously the blood pressure monitor itself as well. All right, guys. So if you'll get this, I'll say yes. Yeah, still definitely worth getting in 2021. Definitely worth it. Obviously until the Active Three comes out, that's a couple months away. So that you got lots of different watch faces, lots of different apps. You got your Samsung Pay. You got your Spotify Play your Music on it. Yeah, still, still a decent watch. Anyway guys, that's it. This is a quick video to see if this watch was still worth you getting in 2021. And I'd say it's definitely still worth it. Anyway, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.